everybody, Benny here with Scenario Paintball TV. A couple years ago, we did a how to video for mounting a, it was a Contour 1080 onto the Die i4. Um, however, that Contour 1080 now rests in pieces and is no more. We have instead a Contour Plus 2. And we have, I have to mount this up before I go to Mauwinkle, and that is a bridge I decided to cross today. And I thought it would be useful to um, to share this with you since I combed the YouTubes and there was nothing on YouTube about mounting uh, the Contour Plus 2 to a mask. So, let's get started. First, we have the fundamental differences between the Plus 2 mounting options and the original 1080 Contour options. This was the uh, adhesive that came with the original 1080. I never used that. Um, but that system had um, this part of the clip and then a, a male part of the clip that fit in here like so and with these rails uh, you can see the rails here and then the contour slid onto those rails that system was destroyed by a friend of mine um, and no longer works. So I don't have that male mounting clip part anymore. Otherwise, I would use this goggle strap mount, which is very handy, and which we demonstrated in the uh, in the previous video. Since I don't have that piece anymore, I am going to figure out a way to use the plus two mounts and my die I4. Now I've already measured this about nine or ten times, but just to be sure, I'm going to walk through it again with you guys. This sort of, um, this clip here is pretty flush and I'm thinking about using this um, on a hopper or uh, on a rail mount on the actual marker so that I have a mount I can use a, as a gun cam. So this one will be saved and I will show you when and how I mount that when I come to that many, many days from now. So for now we're going to use the Contour Plus 2 and this standard mounting block here. This is cool because uh, this center part here spins quite freely. And then there's a little button here. And when you get it where you want it, you push that and now it's locked. It can't go anywhere. So this, so this means we can mount this clip in any configuration we want, then put the camera on, rotate it and lock it in place, which will be useful for the solution I have cooked up. Here's the Die i4 mask. I have debated and debated whether I'm going to go, um, I shoot right handed most of the time. This can cause problems because the gun can block the, ma uh, block the camera. But if I put it on the left side, all you're going to see is whatever I'm hiding behind. So I'm going to mount it um, on the right side of my mask since that's my predominant shooting side. And then hopefully most of the time you'll be able to see what I'm shooting at. And I will try to be more conscious of the hopper and try to tilt it in front of my face so it doesn't obscure the camera. So we're going to put this on here in such a way that the camera's facing forward, uh, not canted off too far one way or the other, and it's going to be on the right side. The problem with the Die i4, it's a slimmer mask design, and um, this actual adhesive panel doesn't quite completely attach, it doesn't lie flush. So I'm going to um, Put it on here and then, uh, how do I explain this? You need to cut a little line here. So I'm going to take this adhesive part off here and leave this protective covering on so I don't have free adhesive getting stuck to needles, dust, whatever. Um, Contour did include an extra adhesive panel, so if I screw this up, if it doesn't work, if I want to mount it somewhere else, I can take it off. I'm really hoping I get this right. So here it goes. Take the mask. I've already figured that I want it somewhere in this area. I don't want it on the on the lens and I don't want it up here on the, the little die button because I need to be able to take the lenses off, change them, clean them, replace them. So I've decided on a place right about here. I can walk you through all the reasons for doing that, but it would be boring. Basically, just trust me that this is the point on the mask I figured out where the camera will be most center aligned, and um, yeah, you can you can just take my word for it that this is where I want it. If you think it should go somewhere else, put it somewhere else. I don't care. So, 
if we turn it a little bit, instead of having it 90 degrees, we turn it a little bit, we maximize the amount of adhesive that's going to be um, attached to the mask. I don't know if you can see here, but there's a little section right here that is sort of free floating. That's the section I want to outline with a knife and not take the adhesive off of. So we can get this right in here. So take your knife. Don't stab yourself in the face. That's the tip of the day. And outline where you want the adhesive to stay. So now we have that outline. We're pretty good to go. Just gonna double check with the camera on here that this is in a, a decent alignment. So you're gonna unlock the rotating clip. Slide the camera on. Lock it again. Or wait. Spin it. And then lock it. So this way the camera is facing pretty much forward. It's not coming out too far to the right. It's not coming too far across the center. If we come further down the mask, the camera starts to look over there. And we don't really want that. Um, if we come too far back, again, we're up here on the on the... Um, the mechanism that releases the mask. So this is the sweet spot, I think, for the die I4, just below um, the die pad and right here along the um, along the actual mask itself. So that's the configuration I want. I'm gonna slide this off. Whoa! Did not want to turn you on, bad boy. Stop. Off, oh, damn you. Okay. So now we're gonna take off the adhesive and pray that everything is good measure again yeah we're okay so remove the adhesive wow that's some sticky stuff there all right where i've scored it with a knife i'm gonna need to cut it some more here all right so we're peeling it back and i'm leaving part of the protective covering on there since that will not be actually adhering to anything. Come on, baby. All right. Now, oof, measure, measure, measure. Once I start pressing this on there, it's going to stick. I've been on enough of the YouTubes to know that it's pretty permanent and adhesive. So there we go. Now we're just going to hold it. have it on good authority that once this sets we're in business and you can see here where I left the adhesive on that white strip is just right toward it that's lined up nicely with um, the edge of the mask come on baby press and hold for best results let's sit overnight before use alright now we know now, if I had access to a full shop, I'd probably take a clamp, a sponge or something to protect it and clamp that on there. But I don't have access to a full shop, so I'm just going to hold this and um, I'll catch back with you soon. Uh, some additional tips and tricks while that sets a little bit. The goggle strap mount had a little loop and contour includes these uh, safety strings here. So when you put this on the goggle strap it wasn't going anywhere. You run the safety string through one of these little holes down here, run the other part through the camera, clip it in there and you're good and that camera did get torn off a few times but the safety strap held it. This little adhesive mount um, does not have any through holes. It has some some a, a, a ring here. I um, I'm just worried that if something catastrophic happened and this entire clip got ripped off, then I would lose the camera. So what I've done is taken a, a zip tie, put it around the goggle strap, and then mounted the um, male end of the safety clip to this strap. This way it can slide around back here. If I had had the camera on the other side, um, it would have worked over here. And I can bring it over here. When the camera's mounted on here I'll be able to attach this clip 
to here. And that way if it gets ripped off, even if this adhesive thing tears off, I still won't lose this, I don't know, $450 camera somewhere in the woods, which would make me sad. So let's see, that's pretty well on there now. Uh, it's been a few more minutes. If we've unlocked it, you can see we have a um, pretty flush seal here between the uh, yeah, 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 got it. pretty flush seal between the mask and the adhesive. Um, the little spinner spins freely, so we don't have any. Um, I guess we haven't bent it enough that it interferes with the spinning mechanism. Now we can take the camera, slide it on. Angle it forward and pretty level with the eyes. Then we can push that clip and lock it in place. So now it's locked, it won't spin. Then we can bring our trusty zip tie over here around and clip it to the safety strap. So there you have it. Contour facing forward. Now it's a little bit tilted, um, but the Plus two allows you to rotate the lens just as much as you want. So I can turn it back to 90 degrees. So that if I'm wearing it, I'll be able to adjust it so that the image is still vertical even if the camera is tilted, which is a cool feature and is critical during this sort of permanent mounting phase where the camera might be um, off just a little bit. So there you go. We have the uh, Contour Plus two. Mounted to the die i force, facing forward, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to bring you some good footage from Maui. So I did a test just now with the camera on, uh, mounted on the mask. It needed a little adjustment, a little tweaking to get it level. Um, I, I'm converting the footage right now and I'll put it up here in just a second. You'll be able to see uh, the alignment and the field of vision, and I don't think we're going to have a problem. So. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this mounting system worked. Uh, just show you the exact location here, just south of this die thing, and then rotate a little bit so that this panel and this panel don't uh, don't crop up on the mask here. Again, you're going to have a little bit hanging off at the bottom down here, but if you are smart and you trim the adhesive panel uh, uh, there, you still have. Um, I would say over 75% adhesive contact um, with the rest of this panel. Just press it on there till it's till it's snug and not moving anywhere. Yeah, we're good. Um, so that's that, and I will see you in Malwinkle, and here's the test footage. Peace. So now we are recording. I'm going to try and rotate. A little bit here. Think of my eyes are coming across like this. And then we want a level plane. So there we go. Should be level. And we'll take some test footage here and just make sure we aren't canted too far left or too far right. That should be enough, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Straight out front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.